So let's get to another cost function, cosine similarity. Let us say we want two word embeddings to be close. Maybe we have a reason to believe that the words mean something similar, for example, because they're being used by the same scientist or in the same document. In that case, we might say, we might co define cosine similarity as minus x1, x2 divided by the two norms of those two vectors. Why is it called cosine similarity? Well, x, uh, the scalar product of, of x1 and x2 is the norm of x1 times the norm of x2 times the cosine of the angle between them. Just like a reminder, in high dimensional spaces, uh, typical vectors have a 90 degree angle relative to one another. Um, in any case, um, we want them to be similar. We can now use that on a natural language processing task. I should say, we will be going over NLP later in this course. It's a very rich topic, but cosine similarity is often used there. Uh, so the idea is I want two words that have similar meaning to be close to one another in some embedding space, and words that have different meaning to be far away from one another. And now it's time to run it. We prepared some text data for you. We want related words to be cosine similar. We want unrelated words to be cosine dissimilar. Now, learn the embeddings based on cosine similarity. 